What is going on y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Pineside Adventures. As you can see, still in the same clothes. Third video, no big deal guys. I'm here with Vince. Vince, still same sweaty clothes. So me and Vince were actually driving down the road after our 1v1 tournament. We saw this juicy looking pond on this big ass farm property. So what had happened was we went up. I always send uh, Vince, little Vince up to the door because Vince got the little sweet boy voice. Goes up there, asks, hey, can we fish your pond? She says, absolutely, because I 100% can. And she says this, fish has, this pond hasn't been fished all season because the people that usually fish it aren't here this summer. So which means there should be some juicy fish in there. Um, like I said, Vince can be filming too. His perspective will be on his channel at Vince Fishing. Uh, you guys can go check him out. Uh, everything will be linked down in the description down below. But yeah, we're gonna go get up on him and uh, we're gonna see what happens. I have no idea what's in this lake or pond. I have no idea what they're hitting on or anything. So we're just gonna go on there and figure it out. I'll see you guys out on the pond. Something just jumped out in the middle. Oh. What, just got bit by a water moccasin? Yeah. yeah. And... in here it's around this lake right now or the pond I should say and it does look sauce but like a lot of good structure but for the size of the pond I think we should already have a hit and I haven't got hit on once yet so I think we're actually gonna go try and find a different pond to go to It'll probably our last pond we hit today and uh yeah we'll figure it all out but this is this pond is definitely juiced up. I mean, I just don't think it's as bass in it, honestly. And if there is, they're just pretty spread out and there's not that many. And uh, we're looking for that quick fight today, so we'll figure it out. All right, guys, what's going on? Actually, it's a couple days now past since me and Vince were at the farm ponds and pond hopping and 1v1 fishing and stuff like that. So I just want to take a little time now and just to tell you about farm ponds and how to get into them if you want to, like, get access to them. And honestly, it's real simple, as you can see in the video. I would consider just driving around or just like we did, we were on Google Maps and you see a pond that you like and if it's on someone's property, it's not illegal to knock on their door and ask them for permission to fish on the property. Now, when they, if they do give you permission, it doesn't mean tell all your friends to go there and they all have permission as well. I, don't, I would not highly consider that. You'd probably get the cops calling. What you should do is when you go there, say, hey, I have my buddy that's with me. Do you mind if we got go fishing on your property? Obviously, we'll make sure we're respectful of the property and make sure everything's nice and clean and taken care of on that and all that good stuff. But you don't, you don't ever want to leave a mess because you don't ever want to not be able to go back there. So basically what we did, we just drove up to people's houses that we thought had nice ponds. And most of them were people who had farms. And we just knocked on their door. I sent Vince because, you know, Vince being 16, 15, 16 years old, you know, they're gonna, it's going to be easier for them to say yes. And there's someone who, like me who's 25, you know, wanting to fish their ponds. So I sent Vince in there. Vince is the man. If you guys, honestly, if you guys want to go fish a farm pond, just bring Vince fishing with you and uh, he'll get it done for you. He's, he's a master at it. He has no fear, honestly. He doesn't care. He'll bang on every single door until someone answers it's kind of funny but, but yeah that's pretty much it guys is be respectful to the people of their house and usually they'll let you in and unless you know they just don't want to deal with that on their property i would say more of a res residential area they're probably going to say no but if it's like a farm a big bigger size farm like 10 acres plus they're probably going to allow you to fish on their property that's just from my experience doing it a few times so uh, that's the advice i take now i'm no expert i'm gonna tell you i'm no expert but i can tell you if you get access to a farm pond it's freaking fun and uh I highly suggest everybody should go and try at least once. Um, I guarantee you'll want to do it again. On other notes, uh, if you guys gotten this far in the video, I appreciate it. Uh, I really
really appreciate you guys, you know, showing some love. The people that continue to watch these videos, support me, whatever. I really appreciate you. And I'm going to show you guys one of my sponsors I've been working with. And at Canadips, I mentioned it before. Canadips is a CBD company um it's for it's like a packing a lip basically but it's uh cbd and it's not nicotine or tobacco so which i mean those agents that cause cancer and all that stuff are not in this and it's not addictive um i like to use it personally because i have actually had a back injury so i use anything that has helps me with anti-inflammatories and all that stuff so cbd actually helps with inflammation and it's a natural anti-inflammatory so me having three hernia discs in my back really helps me a lot and if you guys also are like people that are trying to get off, you know, dip in tobacco and stuff like that, it's also a nice transition right here. It's called, again, it's called Canna Dips. And I'm going to leave all that in the description right here. And I'll leave that in the description down below. You can use my promo code, Joe Strong underscore 15 and you get 15% off your entire order um and not only will it help you save money but it helps me uh build better content because they do like i said they send me out free products and they also pay me a little bit too to promote their products when people use my code so it's a win-win situation for both of us and I honestly can say that my two favorite flavors I have right now, as of right now, are like I said before, the mint is probably number one, and then uh, I think I have wintergreen over here, the wintergreen right here. The wintergreen is really good too. What I would suggest you doing is if you're dipping this, put it in, and then take like a swig of water, get a little get it activated a little bit, and then uh, you'll you'll taste the flavor coming through. And it's good for about I usually have it in my mouth for about an hour at a time, so I like to use it a lot while I'm editing. It occupies my mind, and I'm also getting the benefits from the CBD. So definitely good check out Canada Dips, guys. I have them linked down, down in the description down below. They're awesome company. Um, they're really good to the people and they do a lot. They also make merch and stuff like that too. You guys should definitely go check them out. But other than that, I had a fun time filming this series, guys. I'm looking forward. Me and Vince should be filming again very soon. Like I said, if you guys like the content we did, let me know down in the description down below what you would like to see us do. Um, I'm sure we'll be joining with a lot of other people as well soon. So I don't know uh, when, but I'll also still be just making content. But Vince is starting back up school, so it's going to be harder for us to make daily content. But we'll be putting out content for sure. Um, that's pretty much it for me today. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know everything. I'll uh, wrap this video up. I know the farm the last farm pond wasn't the best but you know what it is what it is it happens and not every farm pond is going to be juiced up like you think they are going to be so that being said if you guys aren't already subscribed smash the subscribe button down below post monday wednesday friday and i'm gonna sign out now so peace taylor about the flex